really mad I didn't catch this one last year, guys, because honestly, I think it might have made my top 10. You know about that Clovage stuff, right? 10 official victims. No fingerprints, no blood. Just the Clove Hitch tied to every victim's house. The Clove Hitch Killer is directed by Duncan Skiles. It stars Charlie Plummer, Madison Beatty, and Dylan McDermott. And it tells the story of Tyler, a young Christian boy in the Boy Scouts, who starts suspecting that his father might be an uncaptured decade-old serial killer. I don't really even have a preface here. It was at Brooklyn Horror last year. I skipped it because A, it looked like it might have been cheesy, and B, Dylan McDermott left a bad taste in my mouth from American Horror Story. And I was foolish. This movie was fucking awesome. What I really love about this movie is the way it chooses to unfold its narrative. Skiles does such a good job at putting you, the audience, into the headspace of a naive, scared 16-year-old boy who is discovering some terrifying revelations. You're feeling just as sheltered and just as confused and scared as he is every time he finds something new inside his dad's shed. But the movie does such a good job at putting you in his perspective that every time his father comes up with an excuse for it, you want to believe it. You want to believe that this man isn't this serial killer. And you start wondering if maybe the dad's telling the truth. Maybe this is all just coincidental. Maybe there is an explanation for it. Yeah, there's plenty of evidence that Don could be the Clove Hitch killer, but because you're seeing it through the eyes of a child, of a kid who wants to believe that his dad is innocent, you want to believe that his dad is innocent. You want to trust him and believe everything he says as fact. And by the time the halfway point in this movie hits, you're so invested in everything that's going on that the truth of the situation hits you like a ton of bricks in one of the most well-handled, realistic reveals I've ever seen in a film like this. It just feels so true to life and so raw, and a big part of that is because of an amazing performance by Dylan McDermott. But the other part is because of how this film is presented in just pure, raw, slice-of-life fashion. It decides to portray this entire situation as realistically as possible. Very natural, stationary camera movements minimal to no score, the whole thing ends up feeling very slice of life, and because of that, it ends up feeling ten times more horrifying when the truth is revealed. Because by that point, you're not watching a movie anymore. You're just experiencing this real-life situation and watching it unfold in front of you while there's nothing you can do about it. There's genuinely so much more to this movie than I expected. It could have been so hammy and so cheesy and so cringy and not at all realistic, but instead what you get is a harrowing, true-to-life depiction of living with a serial killer, and all the weight that that carries with it. It's so brilliantly understated and well-directed with some of the best cinematography and editing I've seen in a film like this ever. Charlie Plummer's performance as a teen struggling with this revelation is just so honest and heartbreaking and fantastic. Madison Beatty is amazing as Cassie, who's the local weirdo who has a serial killer obsession. And then of course you have Dylan McDermott, who is so skin-crawlingly unnerving in every scene he's in, but at the same time, super warm and welcoming because he's a father and you want to believe that side of him is real. And the way all this stuff comes to a head in the final 30 minutes of the film is so incredible and intense and breathtaking in a way that hits you like a freight train. I know this is a really short review, but honestly, I feel like I've said way too much already. I'm just gonna say that The Clove Hitch Killer is a must-see and leave it at that. I can't express how badly you all need to see this movie. It's not even something I can describe. It's just atmosphere and tension and life in the most disturbing sense of the word. Don't sleep on this one like I did, because honestly, I fucking regret it. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this channel and you want to see more, click down there, like, comment, subscribe. I have a Patreon down in the description. The link is there. Click it, poke around, see if there's anything you like. I would really appreciate it. It would help me make new, better quality content for you all to enjoy. But even if you don't, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all very soon. Where are we going? Almost there, bud.